Hello, it's Rachel from Seven and All, and today I'm going to be talking stocking stuffers and sharing the stocking stuffers that my kids are getting for Christmas. This video is done in collaboration with my friend Yasmin from Mommy on the Move, as well as a whole bunch of other homeschool mom channels so we can all share these stocking stuffer fun together and get inspiration from each other. So I will link to that stocking stuffer playlist down below in the description so you can check it out for more inspiration. Now for context, these are stocking stuffers for my four and five year old boys and there's definitely a lot of overlap with the tight age group, but we have a few things that are different from one kid to the other to cater to their interests and their uniqueness. Now, a few things I won't be showing you because I haven't purchased them yet, which are very much stocking traditions for us, and that is candy. They will be for sure getting candy, some a few of their favorite candies in each of their stockings, and I'm definitely hoping to add some fun candy canes and some different sweets like Skittles, things that they specifically like. And then in addition to candy, we also like to usually do some kind of fun drinks like juice boxes because juice boxes are definitely outside the norm for us. So that's very exciting to get some juice boxes in your stocking. Um, now I'll show you what I have here. Now we'll start with gifts for my older son. And I should mention, I don't get the candy and the juice early because we do live in a pretty warm climate. So I just don't want them to get sticky or to be sitting around in the heat of cabinets for you know a long time before Christmas. So we get those pretty last minute. Now for my five-year-old, this is what he's getting. And um, a lot of these gifts came from Daiso. Daiso is like a little bit fancier than a dollar store. It's a chain store that you might be familiar with if you live in Asia, it's in quite a few countries but they've got some really neat stuff. You can find a lot of stuff at Daiso. But this is a little metal puzzle. You will need help with this because there's a quite a few pieces, but we like to get some of these little projects to do together after Christmas, during Christmas break. This makes a little rescue vehicle. <laughs> he loves Nutella. This is a, another, brand of, <laughs> another brand of chocolate hazelnut spread. So we're getting him his own little special jar of Nutella as a treat. Um, then these puzzle erasers. He loves llamas so and koalas. Pandas too. So these are some fun animals. We got even a little reindeer in there. These are puzzle erasers so you can take them apart, put them back. I don't feel like they work very well as erasers, but they are, um, they've been all the rage here for years. So they usually get some of these in their stocking. Um, we got some flower seeds so we can plant those. Again, it's not winter where we live. <laughs> um, so we can do some potted planting for other activity after Christmas. Both boys got a blow up sword, which I'm sure is a great idea to give both of them <laughs> little blow up swords to play with. I thought this was super fun. He loves dinosaurs and bones and fossils. So this is a puzzle sticker. You got all the different pieces of the skeleton and you get to put it together. You can see the mat behind it. Chopsticks, um, they're not really using real chopsticks yet, but training chopsticks are really fun um, and gives good little practice for small hands learning to use chopsticks. I always give them band-aids. That's another stocking tradition and I try to get fun band-aids. So these are really bright neon colors. Also got a sketchbook. Um, the cover is not the cutest, but it was really like nice thick paper that they can actually color on with markers. So that will be nice. They love drawing, coming up with their own little creations and monsters. And then each boy is getting a thermos, a flashlight. This is for my oldest, a little magnet set that he can play with and add to his little museum collections. I thought that'd be fun, little small magnets. There's one more thing which we're actually gonna have to take these out of the package because it came with two of them. So each boy will get a little tape measure. You know, measuring stuff is awesome. So you'll see a lot of things repeated over here. Just a few things a little bit different. He's also getting a thermos. They're both the same color, so I'm not decided yet if I'll have to, you know, write their names on them or just 
keep them the same and then you have plausible deniability that no, that's definitely your thermos. <laughs> he got puzzle erasers too, but a different set. This one is farm animals. And he got his own little puzzle that he can do together with mom and dad. I'm making a forklift. He got his own sword, of course, for self-defense. Uh, seeds for a different kind of flower. And different design for his band-aids. These have kind of a camping theme. And then this is, I'm super excited about these. He's going to love these uh, water balloons. Which water balloons might seem like an odd Christmas present, but again, it's not winter for us. <laughs> we don't have any winter, so water balloons to play with. And we also just got him normal balloons. He loves balloons. He loves playing with them. And you know, after a day or two, they pop. He got his own chopsticks, his own sketchbook, and his own flashlight. So yes, this is the reality of life with two little ones very close in age. To The best idea sometimes is just to give them each their own flashlight. So make sure you have two sets of chopsticks. Make sure you have two thermoses <laughs> that keep, will keep peace in the home. But we also have a few things that are a little fun and different. All right, I hope you enjoyed this stocking video. Let me know what are you, what are some of your most cherished stocking traditions? Like, do you do the colorful band-aids too? Do you do toothbrushes? What do you put in your stockings every single year? All right, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.